Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example, we're going to need to find the center, the vertices and foci of this hyperbola. The center will be 2. Why? Because you have x minus 2 and negative 3 because we have y plus 3, which is the same thing like y minus negative 3. Uh, for finding the vertices, first of all, we need to find the focal axis, which in our case will be x equals h, x equals 2. Why? Because the equation is in this form, y squared minus x squared. And then we're going to need to use this uh, b squared. b squared is 64 which tells us b will be square root plus or minus square root of 64 which is plus or minus 8 so now we can find these uh, vertices by moving up and down on this focal axis up eight units and down eight units from this center right so the first vertex will be if i move eight units up from two and negative three that means we are going to be at two and five and if we're going to move eight down from two and negative three we're going to be at two and negative eleven these are the two vertices of this hyperbola. For finding the foci, we need to find c square first. c square will be a square plus b square, so 64 plus 81, which is 145. So c will be plus or minus square root of 145. Similar with the vertices, we're going to move up and down from the center, square root of 145 and square up and square root of 145 down, and we're going to get the foci. So the first foci will be 2, and if we move up 100 square root of 145, that's the way you're going to write it. And the second foci will be moving down, so we're going to subtract square root of 145. And these are the foci's. You can see the same thing here. Uh, by the way, those are asymptotes in case you need them. And you can see here the graph of this hyperbola and uh, all the elements I cover in this example. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.